On this Christmas day, everyone seems to be on holidays except Gwen team and me. Gwen has just released this Gwen long model and I am going to install it and explain it to you in as simple words as possible. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and do me a favor and become a member of the channel if you want to help out. So what is happening here? The problem which this coin long model is trying to solve is quite profound. Modern AI applications need models that can work with massive amounts of text. You can think of analyzing thousand page financial report, maybe maintaining context across lengthy conversations or synthesizing information from dozens and dozens of research paper. While recent models have expanded their context windows to accommodate more tokens, there has been a missing piece, teaching them to actually reason across all that information. Most models either struggle to connect scattered facts or resort to simple keyword matching. But not this Quen Long L1.5. This solves this by building on top of Quen's 30 billion parameter thinking model with a complete training recipe focused specifically on long context reasoning, pushing capabilities to handle documents exceeding 4 million tokens. There are a lot of other stuff which I'm going to talk about around its training pipeline and architecture and few other things. But you know what, let's get the installation underway and we will keep talking. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card, Nvidia H100 with 80 GB of VRAM. It's a mixture of expert model, so hopefully it would fit in. I'm going to create this virtual environment with Conan if you're looking for uh, renting a GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mast Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50%. So please do check them out. Okay, let's go back to our terminal and then install all the prerequisites. This is just simple torch and transformers. So let's wait for it to get it installed. While that happens, let's talk a bit more around the training approach. Now, there are a couple of things um, which I want to touch upon. The training approach centers on three key innovations working together. First, instead of using simple Q&A data, the team built an automated pipeline that creates genuinely difficult reasoning challenges. It breaks documents into atomic facts, maps relationships between them, and then generates questions requiring the model to connect dots across the entire context. You can think of multi-step detective work rather than find and code. Second, they tackled a major stability problem in training. When working with diverse long context tasks, models tend to oscillate wildly. Their solution uses task balanced sampling and a new algorithm called as AEPO that acts like cruise control. It monitors how exploratory the model's responses are and then automatically adjusts the train training signal to prevent both chaotic behavior and premature convergence. Training progresses through four stages as you can see here, gradually increasing both input length from 32k to 120k tokens and output length. If you look at the architecture, um, that is again, I already have touched upon it, but this is the most important or I would say interesting innovation which addresses a fundamental limitation. No matter how large your context window is, some documents are simply too long. So instead of forcing everything through at once, this Quen Long uses a memory agent system that reads documents in chunks. As it processes each section, it maintains a compressed memory of important information and creates a plan for what to look for next. Similar to how human takes a note while reading, this memory mechanism is trained end-to-end using reinforcement learning and then merged with full context model to create a unified system. The results are very impressive. There are various benchmarks which they have shared on their model card. I think I'll just scroll down. This is the one. Let me open it in this window. So a um, lot of good stuff, 9.9 uh, point average improvement over the baseline 
model performance matching flagship systems like GPT-5 on standard benchmarks and strong capability on ultra long documents. I think perhaps most interesting, these long context skills transfer broadly. The model shows significant gains on math problems and dialogue ta tasks, which suggests to me that learning to integrate information across long context fundamentally improves general reasoning ability. And this last line is what is going to be a game changer next year because this learning is going to be used by many out there. Sorry for long theory, but I really wanted to, you know, mention this to you because this is going to be a big deal. And if you are working with AI, uh, now you guys already know how to install stuff as I've been doing it daily. But this background, how things are actually working, how they are resolving real lab problems, they are must to learn if you really want to become a good AI engineer. Okay, let's go back and it is still getting installed. So let's wait and meanwhile you can follow me on X if you are looking for AI updates without any hype and few other tidbits. I am quite active now on X after a long time. So please follow me. I will highly appreciate. So I will just wait for this to finish and then we will go from there and it is finished. Cool. Let's download the model. I am going to log into Hugging Face. You would also need to grab your read token which is free from your profile. And I'm now logged in. Let's download the model. I'm just going to use a download command. There are 30 files which it is going to download. Total size is 40 gig. So make sure you have that much. And the model is downloaded and little bit of correction. It is 61.1 gig in size. Okay, so that is done. Last bit which we need to install is this Whirl. Whirl is a reinforcement learning library from Pytance. So we need to install that in order to get this model using that reinforcement learning. So let me run this. Okay, sorry, I just need to cd into that. There was a typo. So let me quickly do that. And now it is working. So let's wait. And that is installed. Next, let's launch our Jupyter Notebook and then we will play with this model in there. Okay, so first up in this Jupyter Notebook, I'm going to load the model. And the model is loaded. Let me show you the VRAM consumption. So over 61 gig of VRAM it is consuming. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to test the long context reasoning ability by feeding the entire text of this celebrated war and peace novel which i'm i already have downloaded from project gutenberg which is one of my favorite project so this is the book war and peace and it is really really long but a real good read if you will so i'm going to do the you know roughly i think it has around 500,000 plus tokens and i'm going to ask some complex questions that require connecting information from different parts of the novel. So first you can see that we already have loaded the model. Let's load this. I already have downloaded it on my local system. So I'm going to read the file and store it. So I have read the file and you can see that when I calculate the tokens, they are around 770,000. So huge sort of text we have. And now let's do the inference. And this is what I was talking about. I have just gone in. I have created this prompt template and make sure if you are following along, you use the same prompt template where we are giving it this whole text, which we have done in proper doc. And then these are our questions. And then we are simply passing it to the model. Tokenizer is converting into tokens. Model is processing that input, generating the output and giving us back the response and the model is doing the inference as you can see below and look at the vram consumption the max it has gone it is around 76 gig of vram so let's wait for it to finish because remember we are not just doing simple inference we are making it to do multi-hop reasoning because it cannot do the answer by simple keyword search, but it requires genuine understanding and synthesis across the entire uh, 1400 to 1500 page novel. So let's wait for it to come back.
and look at this fabulous response the model has successfully demonstrated long context reasoning it has traced that pierce character um, arc across the entire you know huge novel connecting scattered events like his duel uh, freemasonry and french captivity lot of other things and then after thinking it has given us the final answer so there you have it Quen Dong reading an entire novel like a literary scholar, connecting dots across fourteen hundred pages to deliver insights that require genuine understanding and not just pattern matching. And this is what next generation long context AI looks like. That's it. Please like the video, subscribe, and become a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.